So the question is, how do you improve? How do you get better? How do you get stronger at exercising? In my opinion, there are two ways of getting better. Number one would be a more systematic approach, and number two would be a more free approach. So essentially just doing the movement, just practicing the movement. I'll go over the benefits and the downsides to both approaches, so you can decide what would be best for you. So we'll start with the more systematic approach. We'll be using push-ups as an example. You would essentially be doing three to five sets. If you start with less than five sets, then make your way up to five. If you start with less than five sets, then every day you would be doing push-ups. Increase the sets by one up until five. You would be resting for a minimum of three minutes after each set. Once you get to the five sets, and actually complete the five sets, you should increase the difficulty by either choosing a more difficult progression, by increasing the, the reps, by increasing the time under attention if you are doing a static hold. If you choose a more difficult progression, so for example for push-ups it would be decline push-ups, then reduce the sets back to three. So from five we're going back to three and work your way back up to five sets again. So again, increase the sets by one every time you exercise up until five. When increasing the reps, you should increase it up to eight, maybe 10. Uh, no more than 10 because that would be like hypertrophy, muscle building. Uh, so if we're training for strength, then you know, you should stick to a maximum of 10. And then same goes for a time under attention which would be in seconds, so maybe 15 seconds. But do keep in mind, once you increase the time under attention to 15 seconds and you've hit your 8 to 10 reps, you would still need to increase the sets unless it's your goal to do higher reps to achieve, you know, a large quantity of reps. You have to keep stressing the body more every time you train. So talking about the frequency of training, you can train every other day, every day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, leave the weekend off, or even, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, weekend on. It's completely up to you. But if you follow this rule of thumb of basically just pushing yourself every time you train, stressing the body more and more every time you train, instead of doing the same thing every time you train, then you will be golden you will be improving essentially. You would just consistently have to stress the body more and more. So to summarize it, to get better, you would always be having to increase the difficulty of the exercise. Uh, you can do that by increasing the sets, choosing a different exercise. You can increase the reps to a certain amount and then increase the time under attention if it's a static hold that you're trying to get better at. So for the benefits for this style of training would include better recovery because you're not pushing yourself all the time to your limits. So there's less stress on your body, essentially. It's also a systematic routine. So you might like that. And if you like something, then you're going to do it more as opposed to not liking it. So the frequency of you training can actually increase or just simply not decrease, which is always a good thing. It might also be easier to track the improvements because you would be tracking every single set, how many reps you have done, you know, how many sets, you know, even the, the time that you have rested for, you know, you would be tracking all that. So if you look at it in the future, maybe it will be more notable um, of a difference as opposed to you not recording what you are doing because then you might forget you know, where you came from, essentially. And it's not just that, it's also you can push yourself more because you know what your last session was like. So, for example, if you did, let's say, four sets of five reps of push-ups uh, last session, then you would know that this time you would need to do, you know, either a bit more reps or just push yourself harder and do an extra set. So you make it five sets. It's as simple as that. So these would be the main benefits, I would say, to a systematic training. So now we will move on to uh, the more free approach to training. 
So doing five sets isn't actually a necessity in this type of approach. Just make sure you would do minimum three sets. Maximum sets, you can do as many as you would like, to be honest. And just do as many reps as you can, up to 10 reps. Obviously, if you can't do 10, that's no issue, but just do as many as you can. So if you can only do two, that's no problem, just do two. If you can only do one, just do one. It's absolutely no issues. And then for rest time, just rest as much as you need to. And honestly, just keep trying. So let's use push-ups as an example. If you can only do three reps, then just keep doing that three. The next set, you try and do three as well. Next set, you would maybe push for four, you know, as many as you can, up to 10 reps. And then you don't even need to do your sets uh, in a more systematic routine. So for push-ups, honestly, you can just do them anytime because you don't need you don't need any equipment for them. So essentially, you don't even need to have like a systematic approach to this more free approach routine because anytime that you feel like it, you just go and just try the push-up. That's it. It's as simple as that. It doesn't necessarily need to be in your you know routine. Just if you feel like it and you want to get better at it, just practice it. Honestly, it doesn't need to be systematic. And this has worked for me personally when I was trying to achieve the, the one arm pull up. So basically because we have the pull up station in the living room and the kitchen is next to it. And since I'm upstairs, I need to go through the living room to get to the kitchen to get some food. So what I just did, I just sometimes, you know, when I felt like it, when I went into the living room, I just tried the movement. You know, I was holding onto the bar and then I was just trying to pull myself up and I wasn't even able to move myself to be honest but for some reason because I was just trying the movement I developed the strength to be able to do that movement in a few weeks which is just insane like every day I tried it I was able to do it more and more to the point where I was like okay so I'm doing a half rep because I'm not you know I'm not doing it from that hang I was you know 90 degrees like this and then just pull myself up i was able to do that and i'm like yo if i'm able to do this let's shoot for a bit more you know what i mean and that's essentially how i did it after some time i was able to do the one arm pull up properly full form two of them but this approach is is fantastic you can you know have a little bit of a system in the routine but then just not count all the the sets and reps and the rest times and you'll be golden just make sure that you push yourself always and then you should be golden or if you want to you know calculate measure track everything you absolutely can no problem you will improve in that as well but you know some people just prefer not to do it the systematic way and they also benefit from doing the, the movements still so it's it's absolutely no problem it's crazy how much you can improve by just using brute strength and just doing it. Um, obviously, do keep it in mind that this type of training, you might be more prone to injury if you do things this way. You would always warm up anyway, you know what I mean? So that will definitely reduce the chance, but uh, I like training this way. It's, it's fun. You're always pushing yourself to the limit, and that actually leads to a downside, which would be increased recovery time you would actually need more time to recover because you're always pushing your body to the max so that's a downside so you can't train as frequently as maybe you would like but you'll still achieve whatever you would like in you know in your strength goals so that's absolutely no problem so the benefit of this free type of training would be you can just do it whenever you want to you know what i mean like you don't need to have a specific time a specific day you just go for it and that's it. You can just do it whenever. Going to the kitchen, do some push-ups. Leaving your room, do some push-ups. Uh, if, you know, push-ups are the goal that you would like. Um, so it's it's really a free-handed approach. You can just do it anytime you would like, honestly. Depending on what you're trying to achieve, you know, with the limits. But yeah, it's, it's really a free approach. That's the benefit. And because, let's say you're not even doing the 3 to 5 sets in your routine, in your workout, in let's say 15 minutes, instead you're just doing the movement whenever you feel like it, 
uh, you know, a few times a day, a couple times a day, dozen times a day, depending on how many times you would like, or your body lets you, uh, this actually leads to less intensity and actually better recovery because you're not doing, you're not having such a high intensity with shorter rest times. Instead, you spread essentially your workout throughout the day, working on your skills that you would like to achieve. This leads to better recovery because your body is able to recover throughout the day. It's really good. And you can just do it whenever you fully recover whether that takes three days two days a day no problem i apologize that the video is like 10 minutes long Uh, i was trying to make it shorter but but somehow it just got to 10 minutes but if the video has helped you out in any way uh, then be sure to give it a like you know comment let me know how i can improve let me know what you liked about the video and then obviously subscribe if you like content like this and then make sure you share the video as well if you would like to And that's it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next video.